Good evening, you choose me out with George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bobby Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, we have a show coming up tomorrow, and it is the Pittsburgh Pro in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, like I said, it's content make I really want to span my content. And you know, one thing I, I usually don't do is do shows or talk about shows that don't have women's bodybuilding attached to it. But like I said, as a content maker on women's bodybuilding, I should be more open-minded, especially to the physique division. And the physique, sorry, the uh, physique division is here representing women's bodybuilding. It is women's bodybuilding, an aspect of it. You know, it was a division that was created to be a different look compared to WBB, but it's still the same qualities as female bodybuilding. So anyway, um, this show has been a while for a while. And, um, you know, as I said, you know, maybe I should talk about it, especially there's a little, some controversy to it. I mean, I think there's some controversy to show, just my opinion, but, you know, everybody has their opinions about this. So anyway, we have a, a good list of ladies for this show. It's, you know, I think we have a lot of bodies, you know, and some women here, I think a couple have been to Olympia. Some are making their debuts. Some are, you know, making a return after having that competing for a good, good while. I think we have at least, I think, almost, I think, looks like about maybe 15, 16 minutes to this show. Uh, the count is high. But like I said, there's some impressive ladies on this list. Some might recognize, some might not. So the first thing we have here is one Miss Sabina, uh, you know, sorry, Sabrina uh, Barish. And she's from Norfolk, you know, Virginia. Um, I just recently saw an interview she did with my man Glenn over female bottom. I'm sorry, Glenn over there at uh, Amazon Fitness Magazine. And um, she had competed in 2021. I think she became pro in 2019 to be in 2021. And she's been off for a couple of years. So she's um, making some adjustments. As the pictures from the video I saw, she looks very impressive compared to this. This was her, I think, her first show in 2021. It was the uh, Mid Atlantic show in Miami. So, you know, who's the girl? Good luck to her. Here we have a lady here, Candace Carr. And Candace Carr has been in the game for a long time. I've done videos about Candace. Um, at one point, she was in bodybuilding in her career. She was chosen to physique. I think at one point, she was a figure for a little bit. I think Candace hadn't competed for a long time. This is going to be her first show in the last, I think, four or five years was about. So we see we have a return of somebody legend. Now, here's the big controversies here. We have here the current Miss Olympia physique um, champion. And that is Natalie uh, Abraham Coelho. And this is where I'm, I have an issue with it. Maybe just me, because like I said, I'm outside looking in. But when you're the top you know, champion of your division, why are you doing a uh, Olympic qualifier? You already got your qualification. I'm saying it's about being comp competitive, like some ladies tell me. But the same, some women don't feel like she should be there. I mean, I'm talking about, I said it's on social media. I think it's, it's, it's uh, unfair that... When you're the champion and you're competing in a show where this is a qualification for the big show, you're already there. You get your, I mean, you can sit back. I mean, it's just, it's just some, I don't know. But like I said, there's no rules where the current champion can compete. Remember back in the day, Lisa, I mean, sorry, not, uh, Iris Kyle, she was doing both Miss Olympia and Miss International. But she wouldn't do any show lower than that because, you know what, it's not a lot of money back then for when for women's bodybuilding in the Olympia was where it's back as now. But still, it could be a little bit better. Here we have here is one Sarah Krill. I think that's, I got a name right. She's from Australia. And this is going to be her bodybuilding debut. She turned pro last year. She's a young competitor. You know, I think she has good muscle aesthetics. I mean, very, you know, very pleasing young lady. I, I even posted on, um, you know, wish her best of luck. She was like, it was announced that she was making a debut on Human Body Channel. So best of luck. And she saw it. She liked it. So maybe you should get a chance to do an interview. I've done an interview before with a young lady. from She's from Australia. You know, it's been a long time, but I gotta get the time right. We can do the interviews sometimes so. soon. Here we have here is Maria Simonge um, Esso, or you might know her as Mimi. Um, you know, she got her first Olympia qualification last year at the Ultima Pro. And, you know, she's one, like I said, Sarah and her are one of two women who have competed. She made top 10 at last year's Olympia. You know, I'm I'm rooting for her. She has a great physique. I remember we, um, me and Haley were talking the other day. She has a great physique, great line, very feminine look. Even some people say that she should win the show. But if you have Natalie there, I don't know how her chance is going to be. And now without the point system, you know, it's going to be, I think some ladies going to be tough for her. Here we have here's Ann Gruber. I saw Ann Gruber compete at the Savannah Pro last year. Um, she's, a, I think also, I think Ann believes a doctor, I remember. Um, she's been competing for a good bit. And um, I will, you know, I don't know how she's going to play. So, you know, if she brings in a better presentation she did last year, she might crack top five. You know, 
It's like, you know, even top 10. Here we have a lady making her debut, and that's one Miss Carrie Hughes. I think she turned pro back in, I believe, uh, 2020 at the uh, Junior Says. And um, she, I think she was double dipping. She was doing physique and um, figure. I think it was the same year my dear friend, was it? No, Liz turned pro in 2021, not 2020. 20, I'm trying to remember. But yeah, this is going to be her debut. We have here is Amandi Coley. Um, you know, you know Amandi, as you know, she's been, you know, been pretty good for herself. You know, she turned pro about a couple years back. She debuted it as a figure at the uh, at the, uh, the Portugal Pro. Then after that, last year, she switched over to physique. There's a lot of talk about her going into bodybuilding, but no, she's still young, and she needs time to stew it. I think physique's a good place for her. I mean, you know, you got to really develop your body and grow. I mean, it's too soon for getting a bodybuilder. Maybe in another six, seven years, maybe, if she ever wants to go that way. It's all up to her. Like I said, she's still a young competitor. Here we have is Diana Schneid, and you know Diana is a very popular um, competitor. Uh, she has a great feminine look to a tall woman too. Um, how she can place is uh, up in the air, and what position she's gonna bring is you know is also that. Right here we have um, Jolisi, uh, Jolisi, um, uh, uh, Schreiner. I can't, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't get her name wrong. I mean, I mean, I remember this lady. She competed at the 2020. Um, was 2021 on sports the classic pro show pro amateur amateur pro amateur sorry and that was a show where uh marilyn Yee took second to her in um, women's physique so this is gonna be her debut so she hadn't competed since the 2021 uh arnold schwarzenegger classic here we have here is emily sherbert and emily hasn't competed since 2021 at the um olympia um if you follow emily on social media and i posted some pictures on it Emily has really put on some size. She is getting huge from her last Olympic appearance. And this is the controversy. Should she still be in physique? You know, I'm, you know, I don't know. Like I said, again, I'm an outsider. And, you know, if anybody knows and look at the details of her, I mean, she really put on some density. And this is a concern that if people like Natalia and Emily, who are, you know, really had to be, I got much bigger, more dense. If they're winning these shows, how does this affect the, the physique division from now on? But like I said, this possibility she might beat Natalia, she might not. It's all dependent. Right here, we have one Miss Becky Short. Um, she's been pro for a good bit. She last competed in 2018, and I think this is going to be her first show for 2022. Here we have here is one Miss Michelle Stevies. And Michelle competed just about a month ago at the uh, Vancouver Island Showdown. I think she cracked top 10, top five that show because there's only five competitors. I believe she took, uh, th was it third or fourth for that show? I'm trying to remember. But like I said, she's from New York and this is going to be her second show since the, uh, actually, this is going to be her third show, I believe, because I know her second show because she did Vancouver. And I think, uh, no, I was, I was thinking, no, she didn't do um the, uh, the, pit, the show in St. Louis. No, I was wrong. So this is going to be our second show since Vancouver. Here we have is Jennifer Taylor. Jennifer Taylor originally was a thinking competitor. And I think she hadn't competed for a good while. But you know, also, I mean, if you remember my last stream did on uh, Monday, she's going to be competing in women's, in women's physique at the Master Show coming up in August. And she was figured for a good while. Now she's switching over to physique. So we're going to see how she looks. I mean, you know, doing master shows in August and then doing this show um, tomorrow. Here we have here one Miss uh, Kasia Topa. And Kasia is originally from Poland. And I've talked about before. She competed at the St. Louis show. I don't think she did too well at that show. She, I feel like she might have bottomed out or maybe, you know, I, I forgot, you know. And, you know, like I said, I forgot how to listen with, but I know that show that Pamela Canfield will want. So we're going to see how she can look. And last we have here for Women's Physique is one Miss Patricia Watson. I think she competed last year at the Mid Atlantic show. She might do a couple other shows. Um, I don't know much about her. Like I said, again, I'm still, a lot of these ladies I don't know a lot about, but the information I got in on them, it's, it takes some time. But, you know, she's been in this sport for a good while. Now, as you know, I don't talk too much about figure, but I had that interview with a, with a young lady who's going to make her debut in figure at this show. And she said, to me, also, figure has those aspects of women's bodybuilding in the early day, like the Rachel McLesh or the, um, 
you know, Angela Langers, you know, those women, if you go back to that, they look like what women in figure look like today, even though even women today in figure are a lot bigger. But it's, no, it's, it's that division where they, it's a transition division. I say figure it is. It's for those women that like, who came from bikini, went up to figure, or women who came from figure, go up to physique, or sometimes they might go to wellness. It's still a popular division, but you know, it's one of the divisions that's also, I think, is getting that same stink eye is women's bodybuilding because of the density and muscle development these women are bringing into the sport, into, into the sport now. Right here, we have one Miss Lynn uh, Centero. I mean, if, if I got a name right, um, she's from my neck of the woods of uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, right here in my own backyard. Uh, I might even reach out for an interview because, like I said, I, I enjoy talking to women who live in my home state, knowing that there are women bodybuilders here, you know, and getting the opportunity to have met them and, you know, and just it's a great opportunity for me. Uh, we have a more medicine, uh, dinge, dinge, I believe it's dinge, I believe it is. Um, she competed at the Charlotte Cup just about, uh, that's something about at least about a month ago. And, you know, like I said, I don't know much about, like I said, a lot of these, uh, uh, these figure girls. Right here, we have one Manon, uh, Dolet, uh, Dolet, uh, Dolet, uh, I, I can't get a name right. Manon, I recognize him Manon because it's a fighter named Manon, uh, Fair Yacht. And um, she's from France, and she competed at Portugal, Portugal Pro last year. So this is going to be, her, I think, her first show in the States. Right here, we have one lovely Ashley Raiders Fuller. Now, I've done videos by Ashley, and I used to be in contact with her, you know, on social media, especially on, um, she, on, um, on um, YouTube, because I did some videos about her, and she even reached out to me a few times. Ashley, this is going to be her, as you know, she was at one point in physique, but she switched up to uh, figure. So, you know, switch. Oh, well, I kind of say she went back down to figure because I think she wasn't freaking prepared for it. Actually, has great muscles. I mean, she looks like in the mold of someone like, uh, almost like Lolo Montez or something, like, or maybe like, um, also close to maybe like, uh, uh, Cindy Gillen. She has a great physique, great look to her. I hope that she might, you know, maybe win this show. You know, this is about her presentation. One lady I couldn't find much information on that's Sandy Hill. She's from Tennessee. Mm, I don't know much about her. Next year is a lady here, Ashley Howes. I've done a, a video about Ashley Howes. You know, she's from Ohio. Uh, she competed also at the Charlotte Cup, uh, the Charlotte Pro, I mean, the Charlotte Pro, just uh, about a month ago. Here we have, here is one, Nina Opolas. I think it's, I'm going to name wrong. Um, you know, no, it's not Nina Opolas. Sorry, I got the wrong one. This is um, Erica Morales Morgan. And, you know, she is from uh, Guatemala. You know, I think she's an upcoming competitor. If I got a name wrong, I, you know, I don't know much about her either. Uh, well, here we have, this is Nina Polis from Germany. Um, she competed at the, look like she competed at the uh, Romanian Muscle Fest last year. Uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of information. Like, like I said, again, I don't know a lot about these figure girls. So it'll take me a while to start learning these names and people. Some I recognize, some I don't. Here we have is one with, um, I think it's, it's a, uh, this is actually, that's the wrong one. I think I think I missed one, but I think this is right here. This is um, Paula Oretta from Finland, and she competed at Olympia last year. I don't remember where she played. She might have placed in the top 10 of the show. Very impressive physique. Here we have is one Miss Cherish Richardson. Um, not much about her. I think she competed. The last time she competed was at the Tampa Bay Pro. I don't think she qualified for the Olympia. Um, not much. Like I said, you don't see, I uh, usually I will post to live last year, the comedian, and this was the one she committed here. Right here we have, this is, I think this is the, the lady I was, oh, this is a lady I did an interview with. This is Paige uh, Sabrina. Sabrina, I, I sorry, Paige, I got your name wrong. I, I try to remember because, you know, but Paige, you know, she just made her debut. She turned pro, I think, in 2021 at the Junior USA's. Um, you know, she's a YouTuber like myself. She's a graphic designer. Great lady. She's a big fan of anime. I mean, you know, I think she lives in Pittsburgh. He's originally from Pittsburgh area, you know, and uh, I wish her best of luck. I mean, this could be her first show, you know, as a pro, and I hope she does well. Here we have the town of, uh, sorry, Natalia um, Soltero. She's from Mexico, and she's been, in quite for years, she's been a top five contender at the Olympia. I think she made top five this last year. I'm not sure. Um, you know, she looks very impressive. She's in the mode of like Sydney Gillen, not too much muscle definition, but still a good, you know, 
still good feminine lines. I mean, you know, I think that's what they want to look at. They don't want the girls to be too muscular, too styrated. You know, they want you to have good shoulders, a good back, but not too much of those muscle bellies in figure. Here I have another lady from Germany. This is Jennifer uh, Zinert. Zier- I mean, Zinert. I mean, you know, I got to learn these names. I'm le- trying to learn them, but sometimes you, you just forget about them. But, you know, she looks impressive. I mean, you know, good muscle detail. I don't think she, I don't forget how she plays at the Olympia, but she has a good physique, you know, like I said, good long legs, not too much muscle detail. It's just when it comes to these judging, they just, they want a, a certain look. Like you look at Sydney and how she well she's been doing, but you know she looks very impressive. So she might be a top five qualifier, or she may even win the whole show. I think between these the three women who have been Olympia competitors, there's a good chance they might take the show. And these some of these newcomers is going to be tough for them. But like I said, it's all about what you're going to bring to the stage. So anyway, from the information I gather, the I believe that physique and I believe figure are tomorrow. You know, and then the other day is going to be the other divisions, which is more of, as you know, the popular divisions like men's classic, men's physique and bikini are on Sunday. And there's also this wellness and, you know, no men's open. I'm surprised. But I think because it costs more to put a prize money for men's open. So that's why I usually go with the divisions like men's classic and men's physique because it's a little bit cheaper. You don't have to give them as much compared to the men's open because, you know, those men's open guys, they don't take nothing less. You know, you, you, you got to put some big money for them. But I know Cyril Vilgas last year put $20,000 for this show, who wins physique. And that was the year that Taya took that money from her and then turned around and took the title. But uh, I don't know if Sarah's doing the show again. She might, she might not. I know, I think she's focused on the, the show in Texas. Because know last year she put up $15,000 for the show. That's show that's a tight one. But you know, I think um, AJ said that there's a live stream. Uh, female, female Giants is a live stream for the show. I think it's $20. Um, that's pretty really reasonable. I don't know if I'm going to watch. I'm still on my budget. You know, $20, I can use it for someplace else. But, you know, anyway, like I said, again, it's not women, there's a women's bodybuilding in it. So I don't know. I'll think about it. But I think there's a, a link for that um, live stream. And also, I know with AJ and them, last time we did the Vancouver thing, there was a discount. So I'm going to check it. I'm going to send it and put it in the description. If you want to check it out, especially for tomorrow, just want to support women's bodybuilding, like especially, you know, physique and figure where I say like that, those divisions are truly aspects of women's bodybuilding. So you check it out. You watch the show. Give your thoughts. Your critique, who you're rooting for. Personally, I feel like if Natalia wins, it's just going to change the aspects of this division. If she loses, she's going to probably do another show. But I mean, like I said, I'm not a big Natalia Quayle fan. I know a lot of guys out there love her, but I'm not a big fan of hers. I feel like, you know, she does too much. She just needs to sit back and relax. I mean, some may say they don't have a problem with it, but others they do because the ones I talk to. But anyway, I uh, wish y'all the best to all the competitors. And I hope they, um, it's, you know, this is an Olympic qualification. I hope everybody get a chance to go to the big show, you know, and bring the A game, truthfully, especially in women's physique. When you got the champion, you know, in the in the mix, you really have to bring the A game. Anyway, it's me out with George Page, a.k.a. Emperor. If you want to talk, like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.